Hey guys, in my most recent Doodly tutorial video, somebody just left a comment asking me how to add Arabic writing into the Doodly platform. It is not something I had ever done before, and they had even suggested if it's not something I had ever done before, maybe I could give it a whirl uh, just for my own information. And I thought, well, I guess I'm up for a challenge. And truth is, it isn't something I had ever done. I don't usually make my doodly videos in different languages. I only know English. <laughs> and um, but hey, it's it's always good to know something. It's always good to know something new. And now I know something new. So I'm going to turn around and share it with you guys because I actually have seen this question posted before. OK, before I get started, I just want to let you know that my little tutorials are just meant to offer a little extra help. Um, you guys should not use my videos to bypass the official doodly tutorials that are yours once you download this software. Um, and of course, if you have any questions, you really ought to be emailing support at doodly.com. But if there are things that I can show you guys to help make your life easier in conjunction with their support team and with their tutorials, then I think that's great and I'm happy to do it. All right, so this is what you do, okay? And it's whether, you know, you're trying to use Arabic writing, Hebrew writing, Japanese writing, all right? This is what you do, okay? In my case, I had to translate because I honestly wouldn't have known what to put in there, okay? So I just, you can go to Google, English to Arabic translation, English to anything translation, what it's gonna do, what's gonna come up, it's gonna give it to you usually right on the first page. OK, so I typed in a little blurb. Hey, how's it going? Hope all is well. This is what came up in Arabic. All right. So you've got the lettering. It's different lettering. And then what it would sound like if you tried to say it in in, um, you know, if you tried to read it out in regular American letters. I copied and pasted You can just hit the control C. OK, I brought it into doodly. OK. But first, see, this wasn't going to work. I tried it. This was not going to work properly if I tried to use regular English American font. Okay. And again, they do have the right to left option. All right. All right. That's what it looked like. So that is clearly not going to work <laughs> all right so i thought i'm gonna have to get their their lettering system in here okay so what i did again i went and i did a search for you know free arabic font download and i found this one okay i'm gonna let you guys know i don't know the first thing about you know fonts in different languages i'm, I'm kind of just flying by the seat of my pants here but this seemed to match along pretty well with what I saw in the Google translation, just as far as the style. OK, so I went ahead and downloaded it. You always want to look before you, you know, use fonts, download fonts. What are they for? It says this is for personal use only. I am not selling this and I am not using this to create a product to sell. This is strictly a tutorial on YouTube. I'm not selling anything. So I went ahead and I downloaded it and brought it into Doodly, okay? So here I still have that same phrase copied and pasted, all right? On that first page here, we've got it in bold, but I had gotten it a couple of times. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in regular. We're gonna control paste again. We're going right to left with this one. Oops. And there you have it. OK. OK, so I did the same thing here with Hebrew, and I believe this is what I'm using here. I went through the same process with Hebrew and I went through the same process with uh, Japanese. OK, and this is what I ended up with with the um, originally with the Japanese writing. However, as you can see, this is what it looks like. OK, it's kind of all bunched up on each other. I don't like it and I don't think you would like it if you were trying to read this. 
Okay, so I went ahead and this is the thing guys, when it comes to different fonts, uploading it into whether it's Doodly, it's gonna work this way with, with many different programs. Okay, um, some fonts will work beautifully. Others, eh, not so much. Like I said, I've noticed it on several platforms that I've worked with, so it's not just Doodly. So I'd say go with the path of least resistance and try a few out until you find one that looks right. Most people are gonna be a lot more impressed with your message than the look of your message. Okay, so just make sure it's readable and it's clean and people can actually absorb the information. Don't worry quite as much about the aesthetics. All right, that's just my words of advice. So I went ahead, I downloaded a different one and ended up being this Cinecaption 226. Okay, I ended up, let me see here. I did the same thing, okay. Hey, hope all, <laughs> how's it going? Hope all is well. This is what it showed up looking like. Okay, and I went over and again, free Japanese fonts for download. Went over here, tab suspended, hang on. All right, and I downloaded it. Okay, so into Doodly, we'll just do this again. Make sure I have the exact same phrase copied and Paste it here. Copy. And there we go. All right. And I did actually, let me see, let me minimize this real quick. Let's see how this works. Because I wanted to compare it. I wanted to compare it, okay? And what I can see here is the letters are the same, all right? Even right down to the exclamation point. So it actually translated over pretty well. All right, guys, so in a nutshell, that is how you bring a different language into Doodly. Okay, you gotta find the right font, make sure you get a free download, make sure you've got permission to use it, upload it into the program, and then go ahead and type in your phrase. Okay, if the language you're looking to use is a language you're familiar with or it's your native language, then obviously you already know all the rules, you know what it is you're writing. However, um, if it's not, and you need to copy characters or you need to find out, you know, what the styles of the letters look like, whether or not it's uh, right to left or left to right. Go through the steps I went through in this video and you should be good to go. If you find these videos helpful, I have a whole playlist, um, you know, doodly tutorials, all kinds of stuff, you know, about voiceover software, where to get, you know, free fonts, where to get free SVGs, how to use SVGs, all kinds of cool stuff, you know, with regard to using doodly. I will link a, um, I will add the link to the description box as far as that playlist is concerned. And if you find these videos helpful, I do tend to upload them when a significant question that I can answer comes up. So I would suggest you subscribe to this channel and feel free to hit the notification button. And I hope this helps you guys out. Okay. If there's something you want to know, leave me a comment. And if it's something I can do, I will create a video for you until next time, guys. Take care.